this is a big thing that particularly for writers, which most of us are, who have to work in original content and specs. Do you guys know what specs are? Spec screenplays, right? It's written on speculation. So the studio's not going to give me seven figures to go to Starbucks and write it. They're going to let me write it for free while working a crappy job and, you know, be to, you know, doing it at night and whatever. You're, you get this thing together on your own and then you take it to a studio. But this concept of give me something old but new is really important for spec screenwriting. Because studios and executives, they speak in a language of numbers and how they relate to concepts. So there's a lot of people that when you can portray a new idea to something that is old, if you can give me liar, liar, but in the medical world, executives understand that language. They can open up the books on Liar Liar and say, oh my god, well, it did these kind of numbers, overseas it did this, and well, this guy's got the new one. It's very much that. And there's examples of this. I'm not saying they're great movies. You might hate them. They might work. They might not work. Um, I think you could argue that The Hangover, in essence, in structure, in goals, is essentially, dude, where's my car? Right? Yeah. Now, I don't know if the writers started that way. I don't know. But if you look at those movies structurally, we're, gonna, we're going to find the groom by a certain time, and I've got to find my car by a certain time. And I'm going to go through crazy stuff in the process to get there. Those are very similar. Now, thematically, they're different. They have, one's an ensemble cast, one's not. There's different locations. All of those things come later. But I think if you strip all of that other stuff aside, what's left is that. Very similar concepts, right? I think the same thing could be said for, and again, they're not, sometimes they're not the greatest movies in the world, but whatever. Uh, Night at the Museum and Zookeeper. I don't know if anybody saw a zookeeper. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, but the, so here's the point. For those of you that did see it, can you see similarities? Can you see executives getting excited about it? Oh my God, you know. We don't need museums to come to life. We need animals to start talking. Whoa, this is huge, right? I think that's another example of give me something old but new. Um, the script that I sold to Universal was called Doctor Sensitive and it was about a doctor who feels his patient's pain. So it was a lot of like Jim Carrey kind of physical comedy. And I kind of stumbled upon the idea, but once I did, it helped to, to look at Liar Liar a little bit. And the same director who's on my movie, if it ever happened, is directed Liar Liar, coincidentally. So it's very much, it's very much kind of this collision of creativity and finding a way to speak the language of an executive.